God bless you viewers. How are you doing tonight? I just want to give this last review. This time on another episode. Amen. This time it's called Wedding Bell Blues. But first I'm going to sit up first. In this episode of Amen. The deacon plots to make the church into a Las Vegas chapel to raise money to send kids to camp. So he has the he has Amelia and Cassietta singing after the wedding, and he has the Reverend performing the ceremony. And he even have Amelia and Cassietta and Thelma booking at weddings. But then, guess what? While booking this young couple's wedding, guess who comes in? The, the first couple that the Reverend ever married, Roger and Charlotte Holloway. They were arguing with each other. And the deacon was so, while the deacon was coming in showing this young couple the church, he was going to show them the river. Thelma, Amelia, and Cassietta tried to stop him. But the deacon soon barged in while arguing with this couple. While this couple was arguing. And then that's when this couple realized they didn't want to run into things. But this episode really jumped the shark in the next scene. That same couple got married in the next scene. And the Reverend getting ready to counsel Roger and Charlotte who he gave advice to be honest with one another. The Reverend gave Roger advice to tell, tell Charlotte the truth for always. So he confessed to having an affair to a, with another woman five years earlier before this episode. So, so what happened was, according to the lawsuit that he filed against the Reverend, Roger lost his job after his wife put his tongue in his typewriter. But the funniest scene about it was, Thelma said, I don't blame her. If a man cheats, he deserves to die. <laughs> well, sometimes women have to agree with men. But men, you better look out right now because you know better than that. And you don't have to agree with the women when they say it. And you don't have to agree with Thelma either. But... In this episode, the deacon calls Charlotte psychotic as he calls her to the stand to testify about, about what happens. So, the deacon asked her if she seen herself as a loving wife or as she really, what she really is, a chainsaw in a skirt. Just kidding. So Charlotte strips the deacon's clothes off. Except for the collar part of his suit and his tie. And it in anger going, Why you little You know you know how sometimes when you when a person gets angry. So the judge told the deacon and the other lawyer that she was going to rule in the reverend's favor due to the fact that the marriage this marriage is not capable enough to be fixed by any marriage counselor so I give this episode a solid 100 <laughs> I tell you And let this be a reminder to all of us men who love to cheat. Don't do it. 
Because some of these women today have tempers more than anybody else. In other words, don't cheat. <laughs> Not all the women have tempers, you know. Well, anyway, let me get up on out of here. And I'll be back to give you another review on another future TV show I watch. God bless.